All right, we're at uh, Lake Cunningham Campground Entrance here in Omaha, Nebraska. And we're just coming in now. We've been here for almost a week. And uh, this is one of the nicest campgrounds we've ever been to, I think. And you'll see, we're gonna go ahead and uh, run through the whole thing so you've kind of got an idea of what, what's here. There is a dump station here on the left which you can go in or out. And the nice thing about it is it has separate hoses there for and separated for the uh, good drinking water and just flushing out the tanks. Right. But this is kind of a city park but there's, it's listed as city, but it's not city. It's privately owned. Privately uh, owned. It's a nonprofit organization that runs it, and I'll have to look up the name who runs it again. But uh, they're very well maintained. They have two different camp posts. Uh, they've got a B unit, B area over here, and a C over where we're at. The B's here on the lake, right on the lake. And uh, later in the video, we've got a portion of the video on the other side. The can rent kayaks or uh, canoes. canoes, whatever you want to do there. A dock for your boats. Yeah, and they got a dock for the boats. Uh, you can see how wide these are. They're very wide, well spaced out. Uh, they have a play area over here on the right side for the kids. They have restrooms. They have walking trails around through here. But this is for uh, an RV place to get away. You want to go see Omaha and cancel clubs. This is a great place to go. Some of the lots have got some real good shade to them, and then other ones are out in the sun, so you'd have to look and see. These aren't quite as deep as over a C section, but they're not bad. Now you can see the lake out here, and they've got boats, and uh, there is a walk bridge to get across, or you can ride your bicycle across it. This fills up what the camp host had told me pretty much every weekend. It's open six months a year. I mean, they're not open in the winter at all. But if you want to come here, he suggests you, you know, schedule way out in advance. Uh, if you're during the middle of the week, it's not too bad. You usually can maybe slip in something uh, in the middle of the week, not a problem. But, I mean, they all got uh, 30, 50 amp electric, so you, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, you got people out here in their kayaks already this morning. And you got people out here fishing over here already. I don't know what kind of fish they have in here, but probably I can find out. Campground, so now we're going to head over to B. They 
just planted 200 trees right here uh, two years ago. They very take care of this park so well. It's just unbelievable. They have a camp post in each section. So you got a camp post in B and C. So you're coming into uh, C now. Stop right here and I'll get it. We'll get a picture here. Okay, we're going into C here. And we knew nothing about this campground. We were just looking for a place in Omaha and kept looking and looking and finally this place popped right up and we got lucky. Here's our unit right here. Which is nice. You can see we got a fire pit and a picnic table. But there's so much space in between the units. And you got on the left here hand side here we've got the pull throughs and the right hand side are back in on this side. But we've been able to see uh, quite a few things here in Omaha and we're going over to Council Bluff just across the river. I mean everything's so close. They have uh, three Costco's in the area. So if you're looking for Costco, they're here. They've got lots of Costco's. Yeah, but, the stores aren't far away. No. So, I mean, everything's pretty simple around here. Things that we've seen. The Old Market Street. Yeah. Those old, nice restaurants. Yeah. The Union Pacific... Railroad Museum. Railroad Museum. The Durham Museum. And the Durham is the old Union Pacific Railroad Station. But that place has really got uh, a lot of stuff. Okay, now we start back on the... Around the circle yeah. to the other side of the south, south of side of the of C here, and then uh, on this side is where the camp post is at, which we'll be getting down to him shortly. Both the camp posts in both the units are always right by the restrooms, so it's easy to find them, and you don't have to go hunting for an Easter egg looking for them. Uh, they both have signs up. The restrooms here on the left, and then you got the camp post right here on the right. And so it makes it pretty darn easy to get a hold of them if you need something. We haven't needed nothing except just visit with them. But anyway, we uh, we definitely this one will be on our list to come back. It's just so nice to have a beautiful uh, camp spot and not have neighbors on top of you and you don't feel like you're jammed in. So anyway, we'll uh, post the address and everything at, uh, and information at the end of this video. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comments are welcome. Thank you.